Jesus, you reign. Jesus, you reign. Honor you, her Lord. Reign in my life. Reign in my life. In the name of Jesus. Reign in my life. 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 Of our hearts, that there is no one like you. You are the one that gives us the bread. That where you are the reason why we are still breathing. If there is no more bread, we are dead. We want to do this. We want to do that. It's because you keep us alive. If you take your spirit, everything is dead. There are people that walk. Now they are no more. Today we are. Tomorrow we may not be. But you shall remain faithful forever. Your age shall never end. You are God of gods. We pray that you will release unto us what you want to release today in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will open our eyes to see what we need to see in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever we adjust our blessing, we rebuke in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever we stand against the will of God for our lives today, we cancel in Jesus' name. Amen. And we say, Holy Spirit, move expressly. Moves without restriction. Amen. Let us have testimony. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lately we have been talking on Holy Spirit. We've been discussing the subject of Holy Spirit. And uh, we will talk more about Him today. Let us say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, as we have discussed in the subject here before. Holy Spirit is the brain behind our actions. Holy Spirit is the vertebrate that causes a man to walk spiritually. You know what they call vertebrate, right? A simple English that we call a backbone, right? Backbone. Holy Spirit is the backbone, is the vertebrate of a Christian. A Christian that does not have Holy Spirit is as good as dead. What makes devil to run from you is because Holy Spirit is living in you. What makes your prayer to generate results is because you pray through the Holy Spirit. What makes you to be able to say something during the interview and they give you that job is because you say the right thing, the right word that the Spirit of God wanted you to say. What makes you to Get that right man, that right woman into your life is because Holy Spirit spoke and there was favor that went with the word. Amen? Amen. Every Christian must have Holy Spirit active in his or her life. Please let us say that. Every Christian must have Holy Spirit active in his or her life. A Christian must have Holy Spirit active in his or her life. Every Christian must have Holy Spirit active in his or her life. You cannot be a Christian without consulting Holy Spirit, without communing with Holy Spirit, without listening to the Holy Spirit, without praying in the Holy Spirit, without exercising in the Holy Spirit. Amen? That door, that solution, that victory that will happen, that you are trusting God to happen, will come through the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you point blank. God does not do anything without getting Holy Spirit involved. Amen? You find even in the Old Testament, you heard about something. A man, there was no any special description of something that he was a giant. You know that, right? In the Bible. Nothing was made something to be different from other people. But when the Spirit of God came on him, he would lift the gate of a city on his shoulder. Okay, that is the Holy Spirit. And in the New Testament, there are so much appearances of the Holy Spirit, so much manifestations of the Holy Spirit. Everything that Jesus Christ is were true Holy Spirit. Every operation of the disciples of Jesus Christ were true Holy Spirit. And lo and behold, you are still the disciple of Jesus. And the Holy Spirit must still manifest in your life from now and forever until you go back to God. 
Hallelujah. Yeah. So, what we make you to live an overcomer's life on earth is the. I'm not hearing. Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit. What we make you to get healing for that sickness is by. Holy Spirit. Okay. What we make you to get that promotion is by what? What we make you to get a schedule that will give you opportunity to serve God is by Holy Spirit. What we address your arrest your boss to agree with you on the matter you feel is important to your life to your family is by what? Holy Spirit. What we help you to pass that exam is by what? Holy Spirit. What we make you to have to see your children prospering and not going wayward is by what? Holy Spirit. Okay, what will make your husband, your wife to listen to you is by what? Holy Spirit. Okay, what will make your future bright is by what? Holy Spirit. Okay, what will make you to go to heaven is by what? Holy Spirit. What will make you to overcome that temptation is by what? Holy Spirit. What will make God to smile with you and see you as a favorite child is by what? Holy Spirit. Okay, what will make you what you have forgotten to close to lock the back door of your house, what will keep you secure in your home is by what? Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit does everything for you. Holy Spirit is get one, have it all. So a Christian that does not mention Holy Spirit each day is not doing it enough. I'm giving you different theology today. And I'm saying it according to the scripture. And I'm opening your eyes to it. The reason why we're here is for us to learn, improve and increase. And work stronger. Hallelujah. Amen. What am I saying? Let the Holy Spirit be the song that is coming from the mouth. Let people say something is wrong with this guy. It's not about Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit in the morning. Holy Spirit in the afternoon. Holy Spirit in the night. Hallelujah. Amen. What we make things to work for you is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, there's something uh, in geography. They call it compass. Right? Compass has four cardinal points. It has the north, the south, the west, and the east. Okay? So what happens through compass is that wherever you find yourself, even when you are in the jungle, compass will always point to the north. Okay? It has only one arrow. And so if you are turning upside down, compass will let you know that you are on the wrong direction. So where you are as a child of God because this world is jungle. This world is jungle. Trust me. There are things that we see. There are things that we hear. There are things that influence us. That sometimes get us confused from what is right and differentiated from what is right and from what is wrong. But the Spirit of God will give you guidance. There are sometimes you cannot even go and reach up, reach into the Bible and start to read. But the Spirit will be dear to, to, to lead you. Amen. 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 So Holy Spirit is the compass. And there's something that we're all familiar with today, the one that you have on your phone, they call it GPS. Right? You are going somewhere, I remember in those days, by the time you are going anywhere, you go with your paper like this, that you printed from up west when you are traveling. I thank God for today, you have the GPS installed on your phone, you mount it on your dashboard, Anywhere is taking you there and you are relaxed. At least 85% is correct. 85% of the time. Hallelujah. Amen. So Holy Spirit is even 100% guidance that you receive from Him. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will lead you. You will give room for the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you properly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me tell you today, there is no thing that God cannot fix. There is nothing that goes beyond the power of God. Many of us, over in the ear, we think like that situation, I think, I don't know what to do about it. This is how I'm going to manage it for the rest of my life. I tell you, you are wrong. Oh yeah, the Holy Spirit is dead. If Holy Spirit is not dead, there is nothing you can say. This is how it's going to be forever. God will fix that thing. Amen? Amen. God will correct that situation. But what you need to do is this. You need to give room for the Spirit of God to operate. Are you listening to me? Yes. 
Listen, that is what God does not do. God does not force a person to allow the leadership of his Holy Spirit. You need to be willing for him to operate in your life for you to get the result that you want. Amen. Amen. When God dispatched his angel, you know, you are familiar with the story of uh, Angel Gabriel visited Mary, right? Yes, sir. Angel Gabriel came from God and visited Mary and said, Mary, you are blessed of the Lord, for what shall come out of you shall be of the Holy Spirit, and he shall be the Son of God, call his name Jesus Christ. But I want to ask, how many virgins were in that city at that time? It was the Spirit of the Lord that guided the steps of the angel that visited Mary. That is coming from God. Now, the one that received. You've heard the story of this man called Bartimaeus, right? Maybe we should read that place in the Bible. Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10, verse 46. Now they came to Jericho as he went out of Jericho with his disciples. And a great multitude, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the road begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Now, then many want him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man, saying to him, Be of good cheer, rise, he is calling you. And throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. So Jesus answered and said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabboni, that I may receive my sight. Then Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. Amen. Amen. This story we talk about this man called Bartimaeus. Okay? He happened to be on the street that Jesus flied at that time. And he asked, Son of God, Son of David, have mercy on me. And he received the help. Now, how many roads do you think led to Jericho? How many roads led to Jericho? How come Bartimaeus was on that particular road that Jesus was walking through? This is what we are talking about today. God locating you to the right spot where you receive your blessing. Amen. 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 You've heard that the race is not to the swift, right? Time and chance happen to them all. It's God that makes things to happen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm praying for you today. That the Lord shall order your steps. Amen. That the Spirit of the Lord shall guide you in the right, right path. Amen. So that you can receive the blessing that will change the course of your destiny. Amen. I pray that all the distractions you have in your life, that the Lord will remove them for you. Amen. I pray that all the elements that have been working against you, making you to go southward against your blessing. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will remove all those distractions. The Lord will relocate you and reposition you to befit your blessings in the name of Jesus. I speak to your life. I speak to your life. I speak to your destiny. I am saying that the Lord will locate you at the right place at the right time Amen. for Jesus Christ to visit you and to have your testimony Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Listen, do you agree with me that it's not all the geniuses that are rich? First class people. People that always call 100, 100. 
4.0 average. They don't, they don't go anything beyond, below 100. Do you agree with me that it's not all of them that make it in life? In fact, those that are richest, most of them are not those A's, straight A students when they were in school. Okay? So, we're not even talking about us, we're talking about us, we children of the law. This is, go, this go beyond your human ability, your capacity as a human being. This is an added advantage to your life because the Spirit of God has taken charge. It is now, it is no more about what you know. Amen? Amen. It is not anymore about what you know and what you say. It is about God that intervenes and says, this son has to get it. This daughter has to get it. This one supposed to be here. This is how I designed the life of this person. And so it has to be. Amen. Amen. And now God cannot make it happen when you are outside his radar. When his spirit is dwelling outside the door, he has to be inside. You have to know that the spirit of God is dwelling in you consciously. Amen. Amen. How come you haven't said it? Holy Spirit, I want you to arrest my husband. Holy Spirit, I want you to arrest my husband. Okay? I want you to arrest my wife. I want you to arrest this girl. Arrest my daughter. Arrest my son. About this matter. Do you know what the Holy Spirit will do? All those things that you have been saying that are becoming annoying to him, all of a sudden, he starts to reason. So I say, ah, this woman is talking sense. Now is the spirit that is convicting him. It is no more you. Okay, take for another example. Is take for example you get pulled over while you are driving, sir. And then you don't even have your insurance in the car with you. Okay. And the officer is coming. You know how they, they fake their politeness, right? They call you sir. They still give you a ticket. He's coming with his fake politeness. Good morning, sir. And the first word, the first word that came from your mouth changed the dynamics of the whole thing. Sir, God bless you, officer. And I said, well, all of a sudden, Holy Spirit arrested. And he said, next time, make sure you don't, you know, you put on your headlights when, when you are driving in the rain. Okay? Have a nice day. Holy Spirit can get involved in any It's not only about spiritual matter. Okay? Amen? Amen. It does not matter the situation. Holy Spirit gets involved in the matter of marriage, in the matter of child rearing, in the matter of finances, in the matter of raising your child in the way of the Lord, and the matter of waking up in the middle, in the midst of the night praying over a particular matter. And the matter of you knowing what to pray about. And the matter of the type of dream that you receive, it is the Spirit of God, Holy Spirit that gives you the enlightenment. Hallelujah. If there is no Spirit in you, you are empty vessel. You are nothing. You will never get the result you want. I have not met a person who does not want to be successful in life. But is it true? Is it everybody that is successful? Okay, even those that think they have money, is it all of them that have peace of mind? Is it all of them have happy home? Amen? What will make you to get all these things to your benefit? And people will be asking you, how are you doing it? It's because Holy Spirit is involved. You allow Him to have His way in, his, in, in, his way in your life. Amen? That is why you may still be paying bills, but you will still not run out of cash. Amen? Amen. That is why you will be able to raise a godly child in a perverted society like this. Holy Spirit! That is why your married people will be emulating you because they say in America, and you have a married like that, is because of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah! Amen. That is why you come from a city, I come from a village, we are able to agree in marriage because of Holy Spirit. Right, my dear? Thank God for my life. Amen! 
give the Spirit of God a chance in your life. I want us to cultivate the habit of mentioning the name Holy Spirit. Somebody say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Say Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. Holy Spirit, help me about what how I'm gonna tell this to my daddy. Say that. Holy Spirit, help me about how I'm gonna tell my husband about this matter. You see, you're not even saying it. Holy Spirit, help me about this dream I had. Say it. Holy Spirit, help me about this credit card. I don't want to hold money anymore. Holy Spirit, I want to be able to pray better. I want you to help me. You see, you don't even feel like saying it. And we are still in church. Oh. I am saying this is a theology, but I want you to get into it because it will help you a lot. Amen? Amen. To other people, they think you are crazy. Say, what is he talking about? But I'm telling you, this is the secret of your life. This is what will make you to be accepted in every situation. It will make you to excel in whatever is coming your way. Whatever you are confronting in life, you will always be on top. Amen? Amen? You will always be on top. Amen. There was an issue yesterday that somebody said to me, actually it was Pastor Adibi that was talking to me, and I had a kind of, my mind about that particular matter that she raised. I, 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 I was sad about it. Okay? And I, and I had a question in my heart, in my mind, to God. And I said, God, how do I handle this thing? You know what God Holy Spirit told me? Holy Spirit said, do nothing. Holy says, Holy Spirit said, do nothing. You know, right away, I had peace. Like, I'm living in heaven already. <laughs> Holy Spirit knows what you need for a situation. It doesn't matter what it is. Are you listening to me? You will make decisions that people will be thinking you are smart. Somebody listening to me? Yeah. Yes, listen. You can be a smart person. Amen? You young guys, listen. Alright? What we are talking about is supernatural. It is beyond ordinary. Yeah. It is beyond ordinary. This is no more about what you know is the answer. It is about what God knows, says, is the answer. You will always come on top. Amen. Amen. You are, when compass of God is in your life, you will always point towards the North Pole, which is the direction of victory. You will always stay on top of the situation. Amen. Amen. How many of us are wife in the house today? How many married couples? Uh, Paris, man or woman? Amen. Let's grace our heart. We have enough hands now. Amen. God bless you. you. Can put your hands down. What we make it to always work in your marriage is what? Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. You will always have peace. You will always have solution. You will always be at peace. Things will always be moving in the right direction for you because the Spirit of God is guiding you. Hallelujah. Amen. Before we round it up, do you know the story of a crippled man at the temple, right? That man by the beautiful gate, right? The man was crippled, and Peter went to the temple to go and pray. The man fixed his eyes on Peter, expecting that Peter would give him some money. And Peter said, silver and gold I don't have, but what I have is, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Who put that crippled man in the temple at that time? Who made the man to, sit, to stay by the pole, by the entrance, where Peter will come in? Listen, if you have been to a temple, you will know that it's more than one door that enters into a temple. Who put him in that particular place where Peter will come through? Okay? It, many people walk, through, walk past through that place. And I'm sure it was not only Peter. He came also with some friends. And what made that man to fix his eyes on Peter alone is the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God will order your footsteps. When you allow him to operate in your life. Hallelujah! 
what I'm saying today. Relax, my friend. Relax. Stop fighting. Amen. Amen. Relax. Stop arguing. Relax. Stop the calculation. Put the calculator aside. Relax. Stop calling your uncle, your friends. Relax. Stop crying. Relax. Stop being anxious. Relax your mind and say, God, Holy Spirit, I know you are alive about this matter. There will be solution. Amen. Holy Spirit, that is doctor's report. That is not your report. Amen. Holy Spirit, you visited Mary. Holy Spirit, you raised the dead person. Holy Spirit, you make the cripple to walk. Holy Spirit, you give insight to the foolish. Even Daniel said, I am more wiser than my teacher because the Holy Spirit inspired him. Holy Spirit always speak to Jesus when they ask him questions. Whatever comes out of Jesus, never go for it. He never has fault. It is the Spirit of God that was coming out of the mouth of Jesus. At the beginning, God said, let there be heaven, let there be earth. And there was darkness on the face of the earth. And the Lord said, let there be light. And immediately there was light. What came out of God was Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit brings separation between light and darkness. Whatsoever is the situation in your life, if you say Holy Spirit enter, it will enter. If you say Holy Spirit make solution, there will be solution. If you say Holy Spirit deliver, let there be delivered, there shall be delivered. If you say Holy Spirit give me answer, there shall be answer. If you say Holy Spirit arise this woman, Holy Spirit will do so. If you say Holy Spirit arise this man, there shall be so. It shall be so like that. Holy Spirit is the future of the child. Okay? You will be in your, your son, your daughter will be upstairs somewhere. Study. You can't be with them for the first time. Even if you are, they are in the same city with you, they are in, sitting in the class, they are walking around, roaming around with their friends. And there are so much influences. What arrest them? Make them to remember the word of God. Make them to remember the word of your parents. Make them to remember what they read in the Bible is Holy Spirit. Somebody say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Say three times, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me.